dude. Oh my god. That was the biggest snake I've ever seen in my life. You have pythons here, right? Big pythons though, right? Jake, right over there is the biggest python I've ever seen in my life. I'm not kidding. What is going on guys? It's Brandon and Jay and today we are in Miami, Florida. Now, where I'm standing right now is not where we're going to be diving, but right behind this area, there are a bunch of canals that actually go through the whole city that we're gonna be exploring today. This place is really interesting because back in the 70s and 80s, there was a thing called the Cocaine Cowboys. Basically, it was a bunch of drug wars. It was a bunch of crazy stuff. Hopefully, we can find a bunch of guns. Also, do wanna mention that there's a bunch of exotic animals here as well that we could potentially run into. So, it's gonna be a really interesting day, but before we get into all that stuff I want to tell you today's video is actually sponsored by World of Warships so I want to tell you a little bit about this before we get started but I promise stay tuned because this is going to be a crazy adventure World of Warships is actually free to play it's free to download so you guys should probably do that but it is also called the thinking man's action game because it's the perfect balance of strategy and action. You can command a massive naval fleet and have a few of history's most iconic war vessels. As you play, you can unlock new ships and dominate the oceans with over 7 million other players worldwide. This game is about as real as it gets. When it rains, it affects your battle. When it's sunny, I mean, I guess it's just gonna be a beautiful day to battle, but the weather can affect your battle. Also, there are 3D scans of all the ships, which is gonna create a very realistic environment for your gameplay. World of Warships is always updating their game, whether that's gonna be new missions or new events, basically, you're never gonna get bored. So make sure you guys click the link in the description below to play World of Warships and get a special new starter pack. New players can register with this code to receive 250 doubloons, a million credits, HMS Camp Bell Town premium ship, one port slot, and three days premium time. So big thank you to World of Warships for sponsoring Sponsoring today's video remember you can go check it out in the link in the description below with that being said it is time to meet up with the boys we're gonna meet up with Jake Tristan and Cap yo you might have seen him uh, way back in the day when I have like 5,000 subscribers he was the first one to ever take me out on a boat really incredible dude we're going to explore the canals of Miami Florida it's gonna get weird So Johan just got us to our first spot. We are actually going to be diving an old boat that has been sunken right here. I asked Johan how long it's been here. He said probably over 10 years. So it's been here a very long time. He said it's a saltwater boat of some sort. It doesn't look that big. Either way, we're all gearing up. We're going to hop in and check this boat out. And uh, Johan said he does catch a bunch of peacock bass and exotic fish off this thing. So it'll be pretty cool. We're going to hop in the water. I'm coming, Jake. Hey, Cap Yawn. It obviously doesn't take much to impress us, right? So far, we've got a big plastic bucket and a compass, and we're good to go. <laughs> you scared me, dude. <laughs> you scared me! <laughs> creepy man I don't like that at all just got out of the water at spot number one and it was freaking disgusting Jake is actually still swimming there wow these dudes all have like supercharged like turbo jet skis we gotta step our jet ski game up anyway 
Jake is still in the water. We found a bunch of just trash. There was no way we would even like put a dent in how much stuff there was down there. But anyway, Captain Johan is gonna take us down to the canals. This is like behind people's houses and buildings and stuff like that. Really, really cool. I've been there before to catch peacock bass. This guy is zooming. I'm gonna be looking for some exotic fish like the clown knife fish, the peacock bass, stuff like that. Um, and also some crazy treasure along the way. Oh my gosh, there's an iguana right here. Holy crap. Right now we're moving to one of the next spots. One of my favorite things about the Miami canals is you literally can go through the whole city on the water. So if you have a boat, you have a jet ski, you have a kayak, you can literally navigate your way through the entire city. You can go by the mall, you can go by the airport, you can go everywhere through these canals. It's really, really cool. And there's some really cool underwater spots that we're gonna be checking out along the way. We're at our next location by this big bridge over here. Jake is actually already in the water. And you know how they say like you find everything but the kitchen sink? Well, don't worry, we found that too. It's uh, it's right down there. Yeah, that's a kitchen sink. All right, I'm going in. Oh my god, that was the biggest snake I've ever seen in my life. You have pythons here, right? Big pythons though, right? Jake, right over there is the biggest python I've ever seen in my life. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding, dude. I'm telling you, he looked like a stick and I almost freaking grabbed him. Please tell me I'm recording. Oh my God. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. That was the biggest snake I've ever seen in my life. I'm 100%. A giant python, Jake. I'm not kidding, man. He was, he's right over there. Look, Jake is on this freaking thing. He's freaking right terrified. Look, hey, I'm serious. I wouldn't lean on those rocks like that, man. Get me out of here, man. <laughs> Just jump, jump, bro. Just jump for your life. Watch out, watch out. Hey, watch out. Seriously, seriously. No, 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 no. Camera equipment. Cameras, cameras, bro. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Jake, Jake, come over here. Hey, seriously, though? That thing was giant. I, I'm pretty sure I got it on camera. I swear to God, that was the biggest snake I've ever seen in my life, guys. I'm not kidding. I'm going to have a hard time getting back in the water. I'm not kidding with you guys. I swear to God. He was freaking huge. Massive. We are moving to the next spot. Because everybody on the boat is freaked out now that we're going to run into another python. 100% guarantee that was a python. It could not have been anything else. It was freaking massive. Freaking massive. So, Captain Johan is letting me drive the boat to the next spot. Little does he know, we only have experience with jet skis. <laughs> so, we're not making it. What's up? Hope you got insurance, Captain Johan. No, he said he's got insurance, so we're good. I don't, I'm not gonna feel as bad if I crash it now. Oh look, there's a fence. Good thing there's no hazards in this water, like fences. All right, so last spot. It's gonna be this seawall right behind us. There's a bunch of big expensive hotels right here. We've got the rest of the boys getting geared up. I think Tristan's finally getting the water as well, uh, but we're gonna take this seawall all the way up to the boat ramp. So we only have about 125 yards to search, which, uh, <laughs> Hopefully there's no pythons in this area. Um, hopefully there's like treasure. There's a lot of stuff that people could have dropped over these uh, rails right here. So could be pretty promising. With that being said, let's hop in the water, see if we can find something. 
and not get bit or killed or stabbed or whatever else could happen to us out here. <laughs> Guys, I got an urn. I got an urn. Is that really an urn? I don't know. I think so. It's definitely a vase. Guys, guys, I got some. Tristan, I got a vacuum cleaner. I got a vacuum. Ah. Guys, guys, guys. I win the best river treasure award. Literally, I got an award. How cool is that? <laughs> I found a motorcycle. I got a motorcycle. I got a freaking motorcycle. Holy crap. Guys, we just got back and look at this. It's a bunch of little babies. Oh my goodness, they are so freaking cute. Hey, little babies. We gotta go. We gotta go. We're getting freaking kicked out, man. But I wanna show you guys a few cool things. This is something pretty cool. It's like a little vase thing that I found. It's really interesting. Oh gosh, also got a plate, not that cool. Somebody lost their whole license plate. Another plate. plate. Yeah, yeah, another <laughs> plate. Uh, if this is your license plate, just hit me up in the DMs. I'll give it back. Golf ball? For when the weather gets bad. Yeah, on a rainy day, just hit me up. You know, I used to have a motorcycle. I talked about getting another one and we are halfway there, man. We've you already <laughs> got your treasure truck, now it's the treasure motorcycle. <laughs> Honestly, man, like somebody obviously lost their freaking motorcycle off this dock. Yeah. Like, that had to have sucked so bad. And the best treasure find of the day, this makes me the one and only treasure king. I won the treasure award today. Woo! Honestly, whose is this? Yeah! <laughs> I now hereby declare myself the River Treasure Champion. So that's me. That's me right there. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Captain Yon. I really appreciate it. I forgot to like mention to these guys earlier, if he looks familiar, it's because he was the very first collaboration I ever did on my channel. At 5,000 subs, we met up. He put me on my very first peacock bass. You're in a million now, right? Yes, I'm You're right at a million now. Isn't that crazy? Jesus, man. So, uh, that's but cool. this is Captain Yon, everybody. He does do a guide service about any fish in Florida you could ever imagine. He's going to be linked in the description below so you guys can book a trip with him and I promise you if he can put Tristan on a peacock bass, <laughs> anybody could catch a fish. But seriously, good. man, we caught him last minute. We were 30 minutes away. He was like, let me get my boat. I'll help you guys out. And uh, honestly, without you today, man, it would have been a massive struggle. So right, thank man. you again my so pleasure, much. Bro. And uh, make sure you guys go check him out. Link in the description below. I'm really sorry that I had to rush through all of that, but the security guard is trying to kick us out right now. The park closes at 7.30 and it is 7.35. So uh, he's not very happy. We've got to pack all our stuff and get back into the truck. All right, guys, well, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a big old thumbs up. And you know what? Drop a big thumbs up anyway because your boy survived a freaking python attack. I mean, it didn't really attack me, but it might as well have because I felt like it did. On a real note, though, that was one of the craziest, scariest things that I have ever encountered in the water. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of that encounter. I mean, I guess I've reached a peak of scary, right? Like, there's not too many things in the water that can, like, top a freaking python being this close to my face. I think at this point, I'm just happy to be alive. With that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always... I will catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace out. These areas, honestly, we came up with this trip last minute. So whatever happens, happens at this point. I think now we have a good idea of what we can do next time. We can bring the jet skis. We can wear like body armor. Body armor. <laughs>